Hello and welcome back to Elm Creek. It is now September and I'm hoping that the sugar beet is ready. No. Oh, that's a bit of a pain. Hmm. Well, anyway, we're going to crack on with what I said we would do at the end of last episode. So we're going to get the... We're going to construction mode. Oh, hello. There we go. We sell the market stall, £916. We sell the big vending machine, 5713 There we go. We may even get to the stage where we turn this back into a field at some point, or an animal enclosure. That would be better. It would be good to get some cows, I think. Yes, let's go back to basics and get some cows. Right, we need to move these pallets out of the way so that more can spawn there are the there are all the carrots are fully washed they're just in storage until i move these pallets well so technically speaking we don't probably need to move them because they'll just sit there in storage anyway but we shall and i'm expecting one to appear any minute not just one maybe two But all of these are going to have to be loaded onto that flatbed trailer when we get it and taken down to the railway depot. We can empty them into there. Oh, one lot of carrots. Is that all that was in there? Yes, it is. Okay. But that's okay. So yeah, Goldcrest Valley seems to be the best place to sell all our washed vegetables and our bits and pieces from the uh, from the greenhouse. Although I will probably be getting rid of the greenhouse as well. I imagine it would make sense to not have the greenhouse here if we've got an animal enclosure, which is absolutely desperately what I want to do once we have made the money over the winter period. So there actually isn't much to do um, at this point in time. How much water has that got? That's got quite a lot of water. How much water has that got? Probably enough to do the sugar beet. So yeah, we have got nothing to do before the sugar beets are ready so I think the best thing for us to be doing is to forward time until the sugar beet is ready I'll see you in a bit right it is now November as you can tell from the trees and the daylight but the sugar beet is ready do we need to move anything out of the way for these to continue? No, we don't. Good. So the sugar beet is ready. Right, so we need a beet harvester. Beet technology here. That's the one. And this is the topper that we need. So let's lease that. 1,249. We will lease this. £5,000. And then we'll get over there in the Massey Ferguson to pick them up. Need some lights on. There, that's better. Okay. Got some lights on. We're good to go. So, in terms of our drastic change in... Uh, in what we're doing in plan I should say um, we're going to get some cows we are going to get uh, well as soon as we have sold all of the produce that we are have made this year which will be sort of December April no December January February time we're going to pay off the loan that we use to get the field and we are going to 
get some cows. That is the plan. I also want to convert the big field to grass so we can get hay and silage. I think hay is going to be adequate for now. But yep, silage is going to be a must at some point. Oh, crikey. Coming too hot there. Right. Let's get all this on the back. There we go. This is going to be good. Get these sugar beet harvested. And we're going to be well on our way. Yeah, definitely get... Definitely... When can I plant grass until? That's a good question. Uh, nope, that's the wrong thing. Uh, grass? Ah, I can still plant grass in November. So if... We've managed to get this harvested. And... I don't think we need to plough it if it's going to be grass. Does it say it needs ploughing? Did I turn off requires ploughing? Yes, I did. I turned it off. So that's good. We can cultivate that. And we can get it... We can get it grassed. Grassed? Sure. That's, that's what we call it. I think... Would it be worth putting grass into the other two fields as well? I don't think so. I think maybe just hay for now. No, not hay. I think we'll, we'll leave that as fallow. And then we will put some crops in in the springtime. We had sorghum in this time. It, uh, the game doesn't stop you putting different crops in or, or punish you for putting different different uh, I mean the same crop in each time we may even go for sorghum again I'm not sure first of all we have got sugar beet to harvest and to get them into the wash bin and get them washed that is the absolute goal ah the one thing I've just realized is I can't sell my greenhouse produce at Goldcrest Valley but that is not necessarily a big problem Right, let's get these unfolded. Oh, was that it? Get them switched on. And we can start to harvest. Excellent. This is wonderful. Excuse me, dear. Yeah, it's not going to take us too long to do this at all, so I'm not going to put it on a worker. I'm going to do this myself. Um, sugar beet, one of the easier things to uh, to get sorted. And I believe that we could empty this straight into the wash bin as well, which would be a massive help. Absolutely huge help. Switch them off so we can manoeuvre. Look at that, 69% full already. This isn't going to take very long at all. Okay. I will crack on. And I will see you in a bit. Right, well, that was a much, much quicker job than the vegetables, which is good. Uh, we still are going to have to shovel some into the um, 
into the wash bin. I don't think these are going to go in there because I think, yeah, it's full up. But we can put these off here, put these off, put these in here. Get everything folded up. Although, once again, we don't need to fold it to uh, return it. But yep, we need to return these now. We don't incur any more costs. And we're done. Uh, so, job number one is to get a cultivator going on that field. Job number two is going to be move those sugar beet pallets out of the way. And... Fill the fill the wash bin with the rest of the sugar beet because it is November. The best prices for these things are February. Uh, as for the sorghum, I'm not sure when the best price for sorghum is. It might actually be November. Um, come on, sorghum, sorghum, sorghum. No, January. So we're all good. We could sell it all at the same time if that's the case which is marvellous. Right, and we need to make this field grass. That is the next job. So we're going to put that job on a worker. There we go. Off you go. Right then. So these bits are going to have to be sold in other places. I don't know where at the minute but we will sell them at other places, that's fine. How is the wash bin doing for water? Well, we've got okay for water, but we do not have space. So, first job then, move those pallets out of the way. And eventually, we'll be loading them all onto a trailer for delivery. Uh. I don't remember if I can do two of these at once or not, but let's give it a go. What's the worst that could happen? Well, apart from my tractor being thrown into space, of course. That's one thing I really hope they've fixed in the new game. From the videos of FS25, it does look like everything sort of happens a little bit slower which is which is fantastic because ah I've just realized I only need a flatbed trailer for selling the greenhouse bits because these I can actually empty into the trailer if I just hold them above the trailer with this tractor it might be worth me looking at getting a bigger trailer potentially now these are the same as the carrots, then I can lift two at the same time, but only by tilting the forks, not by actually lifting it up like that. Oh, crikey. Yeah, just like that. <sighs> yeah, like I was saying, FS25, everything looks like a little bit more slower and a little bit more relaxed. And one of the first gameplay sessions, excellent, I'll be doing on that, is going to be a more of a very slow and relaxed gameplay which I think would suit the game looking at it especially when you, you get a chance to take in all those gorgeous visual, visuals that they've you get with Giants Engine 10 the only thing I have noticed from the videos is that they haven't seemed to have fixed or not fixed but um, made the exhaust gases any better I re one of the mods I really do like for FS22 is the one that fixes the exhaust gas um, so that it takes away that haze that's coming out of our exhaust right now and it puts on the black smoke which I think is a much, much better although probably more CPU intensive so I don't know. Ha ha, there we go. Ah. I thought that was all that was left in there, but it's not. Right then, I will get these cleared up and I will get the 
rest of the sugar beet put in. And in the meantime, if the cultivator finishes, I will get them on planting seed. Grass seed, to be exact. So I'll see you in a bit. There we go, all nice and neatly stacked without any issues whatsoever. And how are we doing over here? Uh, he's missed a little bit, but I think that's stuff that's already been cultivated. So we should be able to just seed straight into there. In fact, what I'll do is I will get, I get this tractor on seeding. No, let's take the, let's take the bulk goods trailer down to the dealership. We will have a look and see what we can get. And we can sell this one because I want a bigger one. This one is only 11,000 litres, I say, I think. 11,000 litres. I would ideally want one that's at least 20,000. And I wonder if we, if we sat next to the boxes of washed vegetables and press R, I wonder if they would fill the trailer. Well, that's something to find out, isn't it? Anyway, I'll see you over at the store. Okay, here we are. So, before we sell this, which... Oh, I didn't know that was a road round there. I should look where I'm going more often. Before we sell this, let's have a look and see what is available. So that is 11,500. It's only 8,000. 8,000, okay. We could get the class one which is quite good. That's £20,000. I don't know if I could lift the pallets up enough to get over there, but then we could reconfigure it to do the vegetables if that's possible. Um, yeah, we're going massively up in price here, and that is definitely too tall and probably too heavy when it's full. So... I think this is the best value for money. Oh, God, that's hideous. Oh, let's keep it black. Um, yes, best value for money. We'll keep the extension. We can always reconfigure it if we need to. £20,000. There we go. Which means that we can sell this trailer and get some money back from that. I don't know that we're going to get a full amount of money back, but we'll get some money back anyway. It is used after all. Quite old. Right. Uh, repair it. One pound. Repaint it for 267. And sell. Gone. Well, so all in all, actually, that trailer has cost us 10,000-ish. Which I think is fairly reasonable. Really got to bring that seed bag back, bag back at some point. But if I uh, put it in the trailer now, it'll go in as just dropped seed, which we don't really want at the farm. We prefer to have a bag of it. Right. Um, 
let's head back and see if we can fill it just by pressing R next to the washed sugar beet. If we can, we are looking extremely good. Right, here we go. Moment of truth. Can we fill the trailer by pressing R? No. It does not appear so. Well, that's okay. We have a plan B. Uh, here it is. Uh, but first of all, let's get in this tractor. And we need to go and get the cedar. Start getting the grass in. And I think that... Yes, leaving a worker doing this is probably the right thing to do. Because uh, we need to figure out how to get all of that stuff down to the train station, as well as the sorghum as well. For sale in February. Okay. Drop that off there. Hopefully we've got some seed in the cedar. Ah, we could also get rid of the vegetable planter, I suppose. We're not doing vegetables anymore. Would make sense. Yep, we've got seed. We just need to change it to grass. There we go. Excellent. And then, once again, we shall put this on a worker. And we can get on with what we need to be getting on with. It might be good to get a roller and get this rolled as well. Although it's grass, so I'm not sure if that's needed. I don't believe this is going to use seed very quickly. One litre, two litres. So we might have enough, might not. We shall see. As for getting this trailer full, I reckon all the sorghum will fit in that trailer as well. But what we need to do now is to... Oh, gosh. That's not ideal. That's better. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Right. We'll try that one another time. Let's get this top one here. And we're going to have to do this one by one. Can we get it? Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> However, what we will notice... Ah, oh, no, hang on. No, it's okay. I was going to say, what we notice is we don't get the money back for the pallets, but these pallets didn't cost us anything. It was the pallets before we put them in the wash bin that costed us. So, that's okay. Yep, there we go. I don't think it's going to get much easier than this. Uh, so, let's crack on and get all the washed beet put into the trailer. There we go. Easy peasy, no drama whatsoever. Well, we have a trailer with 15,000 litres of washed sugar beet in it. Which is incredible. But that definitely wouldn't have fit in without the extension. So I think it's a good job we went for the extension. 
Now I'm wondering whether I can get the rest of the wash sugar beet out of the wash bin here. If I just press I. Nope, I cannot. That's annoying because there is 980 litres of wash sugar beet in there. That's a pain. Oh, no. What I can do, I can set them all to selling, can't I? And then make sure that they sell before I sell the wash apparatus. Call it a washing drum, as that's what they call it. So, uh, how is our worker getting on at the minute? Halfway there. Good, good. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the train station and drop this first load off. But I'm not going to do any more until next month. Because I have had quite enough for one day. But yeah, we need to head over to the train station and get this lot dropped off first. Take it nice and slow. The last thing we want to do is tip it over. Full of washed sugar beet. There'll be sugar beet everywhere. It'll need to be washed again. All over the road. And the cars aren't going to stop. They'll just drive over it and then it'll be mush. It'll be sugar beet mush. Which I don't think is as valuable as washed sugar beet. If I'm perfectly honest. Hmm. It would be really, really good if I could get a roller as well. I'd love to rip, roll that field. We've just put the grass seed in. But at the moment, I think we need to focus and concentrate on getting the loan paid off and making as much money as possible towards the cows. Maybe that we need to take more of a loan out to get the cows, but we'll see. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, let's get this dropped off. And then we'll have to do the process another three times to get the beetroot, the carrots, and the parsnips all brought over here too. But yeah, we can store it over at this silo until it's ready to sell. We don't have to sell it today, which is great news. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll just get it all stored here and the sorghum as well. But like I said, that's a job for December. That's going to be a good Sort of backwards and forwards trip we'll probably end up getting through to February and selling it all in the next episode but we have worked very hard over the last two episodes and we have got all of this done which is absolutely brilliant right start overloading washed sugar beet here we go the texture doesn't look any different between washed and unwashed sugar beet can't have been that dirty I suppose but it is worth more so we're not going to argue there's our first load. Right. You can... Uh, you can rest assured that the worker is going to finish off that grass field with no problems at all. And I... am going to finish here. So... Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.